Hello guys, so today we are going to take a look at another forward playing style, the target man. The target man or the post player is basically a false 9. They will drop down in between the defensive and midfield line. This is quite useful for formation that don't have an attacking midfielder such as the 4-3-3 or 4-4-2 because you can have someone to link up with the midfielders and the forwards at the center area. The target man play like a fox in the box meaning with his back towards the goal but at the classic number 10 position so we can copy the strategies that both of them used to create goal scoring chances. The advantage of using a target man compared to a fox in the box is the fact that they drop deeper to receive the ball which make it easier for you to turn around. This also means there is going to be a confusion whether the center back or the midfielder should mark him. If the opponent's center back covers the target man, then there will be space behind him for the winger to cut inside. If the opponent's midfielder come to pressure the target man, then your midfielder will be free to receive a pass who can then run forward or pass the ball to another player. The first attack is to cross the ball. Target men are usually tall and good in the air, so be sure to cross the ball from time to time. The next attack is passing the ball to the forwards. In a 4-3-3 formation, the main outlet is the winger who is going to cut inside. In a 4-4-2 formation, you can involve the wide midfielder by playing on one side to bring the other wide midfielder closer to the penalty box. With a two forward setup, the other forward is the main outlet. He should be a goal poacher so that he play at the shoulder of the defense, making it easier to give a true pass.
In a formation with an attacking midfielder, using a target man in your team will give you an extra passing option between the midfield and the defensive line. This can reduce some pressure on the attacking midfielder. Alright, now let's see some examples where the target man passed the ball to the midfielder. In a formation with an attacking midfielder, using a whole player is a good idea because it can give you a situation where the target man drop down while the whole player run forward. While the main role of the target man is to help with the build-up, he is still expected to score. It is the false 9, he is still the number 9. However, most of his goal will come out from outside the box because of his positioning. But it is not impossible to score from inside the box too. Alright, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys had a good time watching this. I hope you guys can learn something from this. If you find this video useful, please give it a like. Subscribe to get updated on more future content and future tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to ask them in the comment section. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.